Hey guys, it's Dan the Medic, here today in Winston-Salem of North Carolina where I'm inside the uh, Arts District and I rented a loft apartment. Check it out. Now this is the door we came in from and let's do a general overview. Right inside over here, you have a full kitchen. Big fridge, you know, microwave, stove top, etc, etc, right? Then turning around, over here we got a dining table and some chairs. Then we're walking in to the living room area. We got this here, living room set. And really plush carpeting, guys. Like, it's like really plush. Haven't stepped on something like this for quite a while. All right. There's some art on the walls and stuff. Over here, you got a plant and a television, you know? And it's a loft, guys. It's like the ceiling's like maybe like a 15 feet high over here. It could have been a factory at one time. I'm not certain. But anyway, inside here is the bedroom. All right. Very industrial looking, this like loft thing, right? One king size bed. Over here's a little work table for you. All right. And again, this really plush carpeting is really, really plush, guys. Now, we're heading over to the uh, bathroom, which is next to this here full size mirror. Subscribe. All right, so the bathroom has a hardwood floor. All right, a shower stall, a toilet bowl, towels for you, and, uh, you know, a little sink with some hand soap. All right, let's see what's behind the door. Wow, guys, there's a lot of hooks. Got six hooks right there. Who puts that many hooks? Oh, my God. I mean, like, what am I going to hang up there? Anyway, so let's check out the details, starting with what may be in here. Let's check it out. Hair dryer, uh, an organizer of shorts, two extra rolls of paper, uh, toilet paper. Not bad, guys. Let's see what Winston Salem water looks like. It looks pretty good to me. Okay. Oh, guys, let's see what's in here. Oh, surprise, you can just like go way right out the back. I was not expecting that. Interesting. That's actually very interesting. So, let me see. Uh, nothing to explore in here. All right. Very straightforward. That's a nice piece of art. And look at this like venting over here. It's like I expect Bruce Willis to fall out of it any second. It's like one of those type of vents, you know? Hey, what's behind here? It looks like a closet. It's actually a little bit stuck because of the really plush carpeting. But wow, guys, it's kind of, it's, uh, it got uh, extra pillows, a couple of sheets, and iron. All right, some hangers for you. I'm actually just going to stay for a couple of days, so I'm not going to be needing all that. Okay. Let's see. What's in this bowl? Nothing. I wonder if this plant is genuine. It, I, 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 I can't tell the difference. I don't know my vegetables, guys. I mean, I'm guessing it's fake. It, it feels like fabric. All right. Hmm. Hey, look, they got a digital antenna for the signal for the TV for over the air. I wonder if they still got over the air nowadays. All right. 
Then over here you got a parrot, a uh, a girl wearing a ball gag. What? Oh no! It is the flower in front of the. Uh, I I don't know. What was I thinking, guys? This is a food and travel channel. What was I? I'm shame. I'm ashamed of myself. All right, shame, shame. Let's see what's in the fridge. I bet you it's nothing. Okay, got some ice over here. All right. Could they not have just put some Poland Spring? I'm actually quite thirsty. Oh wow, guys. So much to open. Here we go. Ooh. Ooh. Nada. Oh, the first one like was a tease. Dishwasher detergent. Oh my god, there's a dishwasher right here. I didn't notice it earlier. Alright guys, paper towels, a sponge and stuff, garbage can. Yeah, I need the garbage can. Or maybe it's in there for a reason. Who knows? Who knows? Alright. Uh, paper towels, a toaster. I wish I had a loaf of bread. Nada. What is this? What is this, guys? What is this? A tool set. Oh my god, guys. They think of everything. That's terrific. I mean, it's a cheap tool set, but... Ooh, I can make dinner. That's nuts, guys. And look at this. They got utensils. They got cutlery. Oh, look at the sinister looking one. It's kind of curved in the direction that says, that says I, I'm very sinister. Whoa. I want the, all that sinister. Nope, nope. Quite normal looking. Wow, premium, premium feeling stuff, guys. Let's see what's in over here. <gasps> Pots and pans. Oh man, I wish there was a grocery store nearby. I would cook up a storm. But then I'm gonna have to wash the pots and pans. Ah, oh, see, salt and pepper, organic, full body flavor, extra virgin olive oil. All right. Mmm, tea. Oh, what was in here? Oh my God. That just fell. The coffee pot. Light roast. I wonder if I have to pay extra if I drank this. I hope not, but I'll give it a try later. Wow, guys. All right, you got a Keurig machine. You got a hot water kettle. Oh, oh my God, silicone oven mitts? Am I gonna bake? Should I bake, guys? You got like cutting boards and mixing bowls. All right, I don't know who the clientele is uh, for this type of place. I mean, like, it seems like somebody's home. You know what I mean? It's, it's set up like you know, like you you can come in and just like hang out here. Like after you've gone to the grocery store, you can just hang out here. You got your beverages, you got your food. You can heat up frozen stuff. You can cook your own food. You know, oh, this is weird, guys. All right, guys. So, I guess I want to thank you for watching this video. The. Uh, Artist loft or village lofts in the arts district or something like that. All right, guys, not bad at all. You know what? This is a first for me. I, I, I've never, I don't, you know, you've seen my hotel videos. It's like hotel, you know, this is so different. Wow, guys. All right, I'm going to go to bed now. Good night.